Now we are going to take up that numerical which we missed in the previous slide. So it is a body initially at rest. So that means initial velocity is 0. It travels a distance of 100 meter. So that means S is 100 meter in 5 seconds. So this is the time and uh, with constant acceleration and what we need to find, we need to find that constant acceleration. So we look for the equation which will contain all those four variables. So it is S is equal to ut plus half at square. So putting the values S is 100, u is 0, time is 5 plus half, a we need to find time is 5, square of 5 is 25. So either you write this, so simplifying the equation, anything multiplied by 0 is 0, half into a into 5 square of 5 is 25 or we can say that a is equal to 100 into 2 upon 25. So it comes out to be um, 5, 5, 5, 25, uh, 20, 5, 1, 5, 4. So it comes out to be 8 meter per second square. So this is the first part. Now in the second part you need to find final velocity at the end of 5 seconds. So now we have the acceleration also. So here I will just put the value of acceleration it is 8 meter per second square. So what you need to find? You need to find the final velocity. So we can use either of the equation. We can use the third equation also. We can use the first one also. So here I am making use of first because it makes the calculation very easy. So V is equal to U is 0. A is 8, time is 5, so V comes out to be 40 meter per second. So this is how you are going to solve for this question, right. So I think it is clear that how to solve for the, uh, this thing, the questions based on three questions of motion. So now we are going to start with another type of acceleration that is acceleration due to gravity. You must have listened this word that is acceleration due to gravity. Now what is that? See uh, gravity is a force with which earth attracts the object towards itself. Gravity is a force with which I will write here. Gravity is a force with which earth attract object towards itself. This is the gravity. Right. So now the, we have one more term that is freely falling body. What is freely falling body? Freely falling body is that which falls just under the influence of gravity. So I will write here freely falling body is a body falling under the influence of gravity alone. That means there is no other force which is acting on that body, only the gravitational force is acting that is why it is moving down. Suppose if I uh, just I, like I have a marker in my hand, if I just uh, throw it in this way, so that means I am uh, giving it certain amount of uh, velocity, so that means uh, it is accelerating just due to the velocity which I am giving as I am applying force on it. But if I just uh, this thing, if I just release like this, so that means that uh, that is the freely falling body because on this body only the uh, gravitational force is acting on it nothing is acting on it because I have not applied any force, I just threw it. So it, it was just falling under the influence of gravity. So it is said to be freely falling body. And all the freely falling bodies have the acceleration and that acceleration is merely due to the gravity and it is called as acceleration due to gravity. It is noted by small g. This acceleration due to gravity is different on different uh, planets or you can say it is different for different heavenly bodies. Like on earth if we calculate it values it value comes out to be 9.8 meter per second square which you in the in case of numericals you can take 10 meter per second square. But if in question it is given that take g, g strictly as 9.8 then do not take 10 take 9.8 only. But the value of g is different at different places so this is the value on earth if we look for the moon it is around 1.63 meter per second square. Right. So this is what is the acceleration due to gravity and one more thing the g is maximum at poles like on earth also we found uh, two different values. It is maximum at poles that is 
9.8 meter per second square and minimum at equator which is just a difference of uh, a unit that is 9.7 meter per second square right and as you go into deep mines or as you go up to the height g decreases right so this is what is the g now if you uh, like if we are uh, 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 this thing using those three equations of motion and uh, in those equations if we involve the uh, gravitational force or acceleration due to gravity so those equation get modified slightly like this suppose we have first equation this so it actually becomes in case of in case of acceleration due to gravity it becomes v is equal to u plus gt the only different li difference lies here that we are replacing a with g because we know that acceleration is noted by a but acceleration due to gravity is noted by g there is no difference in the unit or something it is just the you can say that acceleration which is merely due to the gravity it is denoted by another symbol that is the g and it has different values or a fixed value at uh, for a different heavenly bodies likewise the second equation that is s is equal to ut plus half at squared it becomes like uh, if we uh, imply this acceleration due to gravity so here s becomes h because we will be throwing anything up or down so we'll take distance as height h is equal to ut plus half gt square so we have replaced s with h and a with g and in the same way we have third equation as v square is equal to u square plus 2as so uh, like when we apply it in the case of gravity gravitational force so it becomes v is square is equal to u square plus 2gh the difference lies only in case of a it is replaced by g so this is how you're going to uh, we'll put these equations and we'll see that these are actually newton's equation of gravitation now uh, one few more things you need to remember see anything which is thrown up suppose i am standing here and i throw anything up so at up that means the uh, like if i am throwing anything like this so it i'll be imparting certain initial velocity let's say x but final velocity is ultimately going to be zero and in the same way if i am standing on the roof and i'm throwing something down then my initial velocity is going to be zero and final will be something which i'll be giving it so you need to remember this and moreover when you are throwing anything against gravity suppose i'm throwing anything up so against gravity so there the g is taken as negative but if i am throwing anything towards the gravity that means from roof to down so it th there the g will be taken as plus g so you need to remember these things because uh, this will help you in uh, solving the numericals but if you will skip these things so your question is just going to get crossed so just uh, practice these equations i am just taking up the numerical problems now